hey there welcome back to another video good stuff all right okay this video we're going to be talking about the bullish rising free methods now the bullish rising free methods is a continuation pattern all right so if you're in a uptrend and you've done a long trade and you start to see the market pull back on you and you're getting a little bit nervous whether to close it or not well this formation will actually help you um, pinpoint that particular formation and sort of basically to give you an idea to you know not be so fiddly with the uh, you know with the close button all right so this one consists of five bars all right and we're gen um, we're initially starting from an uptrend okay and then you will see a bar that will look like so this is your ball bar now what's important to understand here this is why it's very hard to find them in the forex the formations might look the same but they're not and I will show you exactly the reason why and I'll get to that in a moment you see here what's this is an equity chart unfortunately there isn't enough forex charts out there that actually show um, what's actually going on so what's happening here is that the um, this is actually done a gap higher so it's gone from this close here and it's gapped up to this open right there I hope you can see that all right and then what's happened after the the, the second day the third day's come in but it's a little bit lower and you can see the body of these candles are quite small all right it's very important to understand that they're quite small as well and each of these lows you know and making new lows but if you take a look all of these lows are actually within the bodies uh, the, within that real body okay and then the fifth candle will come out looking like so but this fifth candle actually needs to close higher than the first candle All right, which it does, and then you can go along if you or add to your position if you want to or whatever. Okay, so that's the formation. That's what it looks like, and it's pretty hard to find on a black and white screen. Let's go ahead and show you. This is basically one little area what it looks like, but you can see that this little bar here didn't actually have a higher high than the previous bar. It's it, it is needed but it's not essential you still need to use some confirmations like maybe like a breakout of that particular formation or you can wait to see what actually happens but here you can see that you know here is the uptrend all right and then the market kind of went sideways for a bit but you can see right there this is to let you know that it's going to continue and keep going up higher so i've actually got another chart out and you can actually see these a lot easier or at least I, I can because you know I don't have any problems with the colours but I'm hoping that you know if, if you if you are colourblind you'll be able to see these colours better than I can. I'm not sure if this will work out better for colourblind people or whether this one will be better. But you but I'm hoping that you know you can pick these out. Here is one bar here and you've got the three bars in the middle and then this bar and then you got another setup again, same again. But it's like two continuation patterns, and it keeps going up. All right, so it's in an upwards trend mode that you're looking for. And they can comprise of like three candles inside or two candles inside uh, in the pattern. Um, I mean, my indicator's not been set up for that pattern yet we're still working on it All right, here is a downwards pattern I mean here is one down here and you got this bare candle here then there's these uh, consecutive highs and then boom this one comes in and lets you know so that one's okay but it's you know, they're pretty hard to find but when you do see them you can kind of like relax a little bit find any more. Uh, I 
can't really see any more it's popping out out of the blue this one's similar but yeah so for the most part I mean that's what you really need to look out for when you you know if you're going in and towards an, an uptrend and you feel like the market's going to reverse on you and if the first candle is a large candle and then you start seeing these little smaller candles inside it don't be too concerned wait for that fifth candle if it does break I mean for instance I mean if this was the candle that we was looking at and we had the our three round candles in the middle and then we had our, our other up candle you could always use this area here and put your um, maybe your stop loss in there and book in some profit so I mean you could have had like a buy position down here at the bottom and as you push it up towards here you see this continuation pattern here but you don't know until this fifth bar is finished but you start to see that how it's starting to come down so what you would do is you move your stop loss to the bottom of that formation so you know if it does turn out to be a bad formation then you will actually would have you know booked in that those profits on the way up and you wouldn't have um, you know lost any money all right so be, be careful of that particular formation all right so I was hoping to show you some more exercises in this video like some examples um, of that particular thing happening I mean here's one. Oh, here we go funny I say that here we go here's one here you can see like we're in an uptrend right here and here's a long bar and then you start seeing these little smaller bars but they're within the range of, of its close right but you can see that this first bar here didn't actually go higher than that and that's what we're looking for really that this high should have been a little bit higher and that's why they're very hard to find so you start to make a little um, a few allowances with them and it's that particular section right there but this one actually has like four bars inside it all right our little example that we showed you was one two three four five but we've got six here one two three four five six which is fine all right and then you can see the continuation and it goes up all right so those are the kind of things that you need to look out for you know when you see that this is getting exhausted because you, you'll find that when these candles get larger and larger and then they start getting smaller as they go up that's to let you know that the trend is about to dissipate and then when you see these kind of things coming down most people would close out of those because they think the market's going to reverse until they actually see this this is actually your um, continuation of that trend all right so i hope that's helped and i will see you very soon in the next one bye for now